hello everyone welcome to my channel today we'll be learning how to make a shift dress with a bishop collar although the one on the thumbnail is round neck i'll be showing you how to cut that also but i just want to make a little change or twist to mine so i made use of african print and a shirt material so this is more than two years it's two years and 10 inches of african print and my lining and then the shirt material okay so i folded my fabric into two what i did was to cut one yard for the front and one and ten inches one yard and ten inches for the back okay so the down one the one on the at the top is the front one which is shorter smaller than the back the back i added extra 10 inches to the one yard like i told you before it was two yards and 10 inches material african print okay so here is the one and a half i add for my zipper allowance okay so now we are going to be start taking our measurements we're taking the shoulder divide by two and then the neck width i'm working with is three and a half inches okay three and a half inches so make sure you start taking your measurements from this front not from the back so this is three and a half inches wide and the neck depth is three and a half inches also for the front okay and i'm going to connect that with a circle like this and then i'll be marking the back neckline of 0 0.75 okay because of the color 0 0.75 we can use one inch so but i made use of 0 0.75 and i'll connect that towards the zipper allowance like this so next on the shoulder slope on the shoulder um line i'm going to mark my shoulder slope of one inch then i'll connect that to the neck width like this so from there i'll be marking out my armhole which is her bust divided by four divide by six plus 1.5 okay so the bust i'm working with is 30 30 sorry 43 43 okay divided by six plus 1.5 that is your allowance your armhole line excuse me so now i'm marking the waist which is eight 18 inches okay from the shoulder line you mark your waistline so for this client is 18 inches and then no need for adding a hip measurement hip line if but if you want you can do that so here i still mark the shoulder line which is eight and i connected that with a straight line so i'm going to get the midpoint of this first of all i'm going to mark her bust divide by four bust divide by four is 10.75 plus two inches seam allowance okay so i'll divide this line here by two and then i'll come in by half an inch like this and i'll connect with my curve armhole curve roller like this okay so now i'll be covering the inside one the back armhole on the inside like this did you see that this is the front armhole and the inside one is the back armhole. Sorry guys, my chalk is not really that clear. So here, make sure you start from this front. Don't start taking your measurements from the zipper allowance. So here I'm taking the waist divided by 4 plus 2 inches. The waist I'm working with is 36 divided by 4 plus 2 inches so in allowance so from that waist i'm going to flay it down to the hem i'm using the whole length of the african print okay i'm using the whole length is by 45 and the length of my client is 43 so the two inches remaining is for the sewing allowance okay so you can decide to mark your hip measurement here and then take your hip divide by four plus extra five inches so let's do that this is hip div her hip divided by four plus extra five inches so i'm going to mark the same thing at the hem like this because she don't want the flay to be too much so, but if you want you can use the whole of 18 inches for your um a line you can use the whole of the 18 inches that's the one yard when, the, when you fold one yard into two, it's going to be 18, okay? So you can use the whole of the 18 inches for your 
a line but if you don't want to just mark the way i marked keep divide by four plus five extra inches so that is what i did here and then i will connect to the down part the hem like this so now i will cut this out okay i'll be cutting this out now so you can use your cover to connect this I decided to use my curve ruler. So for the waist at the back, I'll be tightening the back waist with 0 0.5 inches. You mark it here like this at the waistline like so. You connect it up towards the bust line like this. And then down towards the hip line also like this. Okay. So now we are going to replace this back here. So you come to the waistline on the inside here also and mark the same thing you took out from the um, zipper side and you mark it the same up and also you connect down to your hip line like this. Okay, so now we'll be cutting this out and after cutting out everything, I'll still cut this out from the front. Excuse me, because it's not part of the front, okay? It's only part of the back panel. So after cutting, I'll be cutting it out. So at the hem, I went up by 1.5 inches and I'll connect it towards the midpoint of this dress just to give it that curve so that it will not be pointy on both sides. So now I'm cutting this out. So guys, please like and share this video if you enjoy it. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask on the comments. So I'm cutting the back armhole first of all. I did not cut the front. Then you add half inch for your shoulder slant. Okay. And then I'll cut the back neckline also. So I'll also cut the zipper side. Open up the zipper and then cut out the allowance like this. Okay. Okay, so now we are done with this and I will take out the back panel and trim off this allowance I added here, this one. So I'll trim it out. Like I said before, it's only added at the back for the back panel. So here I've cut it out. Okay, I've trimmed that out and I'm also going to cut out the front armhole and the neckline. So I'm marking my pocket, I forgot to do that, and I'm going to notch. From the waistline, you mark 7 inches down. You notch the waistline and the 7 inches you mark down. So I'll do that to the back panel also. So this is the waistline here. So from there, I'm going to come down. I'll measure here to be sure. So what I have here is 9. I'll measure 9 again since there is no any chalk at the back. So I'll mark, I'll notch here. And then from there, I'm going to mark seven inches down like this and I'll notch also. So that is for my pocket. Okay. So I'm going to cut the front neckline and armhole out. So for the front, you can just leave yours this round neck. And if you're making a round neck, you can just use four inches deep okay but because we are going to have an opening at the front so i'll be marking 4.5 inches or five inches i think i later made use of five inches okay so you go in by half inch here like this and then you connect you can use your cover or use your hand and cover it anyhow okay it will still turn out fine so i'll just cover it like this and i'll cut it out so, but if you are working with a round neck, no need for all this. And if you are working with a round neck, mark one inches for your back neckline, back neck depth. Use one inch, okay? Not 0 0.75 like I did. So here we are going to be marking out the shirt material. So I went in by 2.5 inches from the armhole and it's going to stop at the waistline. So I'll place my curve ruler like this, or you can use your free hand. So let me use free hand and do this. Connect it down to the waistline. It ended at the waistline. From the armhole, you go in by 2.5 inches. This includes my sewing allowance. Okay. 
I went in by 2.5 inches. This includes my sewing allowance. So I curved this way and I'm going to cut this out. Okay, so I'll be cutting this out like this. Okay. So now I'll use this to cut out my shirt material. So here is the shirt material. I folded it into two like this and I'm going to place this on it. Fold this into two also and place on it. So just um, make sure you add your sewing allowance. Okay. You add your sewing allowance of half inch round it. So add sewing allowance like this round. Guys, fold very well though. Don't fold the way I folded. I folded it like that because um, you may think I'm wasting fabric. I'm not. The down part is not up to the measurement. So I needed to fold it that much so that I can get the quantity I want. Okay. So if yours is straight, just fold normal. Don't put this excess I added on my shirt material. Don't fold it too much. Okay. So for my sleeve length is 16 inches and I added extra five inches to it okay you can decide not to add but i added that because i'll be folding one and a half so i'll be using extra four inches rather i added one and a half for the folding where the casing is going to be and then the remaining one is just to add volume to the sleeve okay and for the width i folded 30 inches on four is 15 okay so what i'll do next is to get my dress and then measure from the armhole line down to the allowance so this is the armhole line i'll measure from there down to the allowance what i have is five so here i'm going to measure my armhole length which is nine plus two inches making it 11 so here i'm marking 11 inches and then i'm going to mark what i got from the dress which is five like this so this way you're going to have a perfect fit for your armhole okay so you curve and then here I'm going to mark the same 11 also. So I'm going to curve this way. So I'll measure it to cross check if it corresponds with my sleeve. So what I have here is 13. I'm going to get this to measure. Okay. I'll measure from this point here. And I have 14. So it's not bad. This is 13 here. This is 13 and I have 14. So I can decide to use every other part. Just use everything like this. Okay. So now for the down part, I'll be using almost all of it. I'll be using all of it because I want to add volume to the sleeve. That was why I folded that, um, this thing, 15 inches. But if you want, you fold your round sleeve times two. Round sleeve times two. Okay. If your round sleeve is 13. That means 13 times 2 will be um, 26. So you'll be folding like 26. But I use 30 because I want it to have volume. Okay. So here I'll just trim out this like so. And I'm done cutting my sleeve. So this is two sleeve. I'm cutting the two sleeves together here. There are two. I folded into two here. There are two sleeves. I cut them together. And now for the front armhole we are going to be trimming some parts from the sleeve so what i'm going to do is to fold into two again and notch the midpoint of the sleeve like this so i'll fold into two like so and then i'll notch the middle like this and i'll open it up on one side i'm going to come in by half an inch here Come in by half an inch and then you connect from that notch point down like so just something little like this so this is to form your front armhole so you use this to cut out the other one also so you make sure you place them right side facing each other or wrong side facing each other so that you not have a different shape 
eh? maybe the same shape on the same um, side okay so make sure you are folding right side facing each other or wrong side facing each other but if you remember on time you would notch your sleeve before you open it up so i chalk this side to indicate that that is the front part okay so now i will be folding half inch and then one inch for my elastic casing okay so here for the pocket i'm going to use this pieces and show you how to cut out the pocket so um remember the pocket is um seven inches okay so you are going to mark seven inches on your pieces so let's i'll measure this to know how many inch i have so this is nine i'm going to mark one inch on one side this one inch here and from there i'm going to take out my seven inches so you put your hand in the middle like this and just curve it how wide or big or long you want it just you curve it like that okay so this thing is moving that is why it's not really showing i didn't chuck it very well but if you see the way i'm cutting it you understand what i'm talking about so i'm going to use this to cut out three extra so it's going to be four pieces so here i've cut out three extra so here what we have here is four pieces for the pocket okay so now we are going to start joining so this is the shirt material what you would do is to notch the middle notch the middle point of the shirt and the middle of the dress so i showed you that you should start sewing from the neckline down but i was wrong when i tried doing that it was longer on one side so this is what i did see you notch the midpoint and the midpoint of the Ankara you start sewing from there down and stuff I mean up to the neckline and start sewing from the other side up to the shoulder also up to the shoulder from here up to the shoulder so that you have an equal line okay so that it to be equal if not you are going to have shortage some part is going to be longer than the each other so now I'm going to notch this so that it will relax better and then you go and iron this out i said you start sewing from the middle don't start sewing from the upper start sewing from the middle so that you have equal measurements okay don't even sew start pinning from the middle so that you pin everywhere to be equal before you start sewing okay make sure you pin work with your pins pin everywhere before you start sewing to make sure that they are equal okay so here is the front part i'm going to iron this properly okay and then i'll bring out the back panel and join the two shoulders together okay sorry rather i'm going to join turn my lining first so here is my lining i'll turn only this part okay only this keyhole should i call this keyhole or what at the front <laughs> only this opening at the front i'll just turn there and then turn the two sides the two sides so i will not be turning the down part my client don't want the lining to get to the down so i'll be folding the lining instead so here i've done that and i've turned the neckline also after i'm um, showing my lining i turned it inside out this is the down part as you can see the same with the back i turned the side the um zipper allowance area also and i did not turn the down part okay so now i'm going to be joining them right side facing each other i'll be joining the shoulders so i did not turn the neckline over because of the keyhole but if you are not making because of the collar if you are not using the collar don't um turn the neckline if you are not making use of collar so here i'm measuring one part of the neckline i got nine and the other one also i got the same nine so i'll be cutting out my collar width is going to be nine inches okay my collar width i mean length is going to be nine inches okay so what i have here is nine i measured the both parts i got nine nine so here is the gum stay i want to use for the collar so i fold into two like this because i'm cutting the two together i fold into two like so 
and I'm going to measure my nine inches here and I'll be using one and a half for my color. So I'll be using one and a half, I'll be marking one and a half all the way to this part and I'm going to connect like this. Okay, and I'll be covering this part. Go in by one inch like this, and then you just make make a curve, a little curve like so, and you cut this out. So I'll open this up at the down part, and I'll be using it to cut out my shirt material. I'll use it and cut out my shirt material. So here I've done that, and I added half inch around it. You add half inch around it so this is how it's going to look like like this you add half inch around it so now i'm going to go and sew with the half inch i added round like this after gumming this to the shirt make sure you gum it with your iron so here i've i'm done sewing with my half inch and i'm going to pull it inside on it inside out like this and you iron after ironing you sew look at the way i've attached this one so all you need to do, <coughs> excuse me, so just place it from the right side, you sew around the neckline. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So here is the sleeve. I've sewn the elastic casing and I'm going to show you how to, the elastic is going to be her round sleeve minus three inches. So if your round sleeve is 13, you minus three inches, that means you're going to use 10. Okay. 13 you minus 3 I only is 14 so i minus 3 what i have here is 11 inches okay <coughs> excuse me so if your round sleeve is 13 you just take out three inches from it okay so here you pass it with your safety pin and when you get to the last part here use your pin to hold it and then you pass all the way to the other side Okay, so now I'm going to go close, um, stitch it up and then shape my sleeve with one inch. And here I'll fix my zipper. Okay, after adding your cooler, next thing to do is to fix your zipper. And I also added pocket. So what I did was to measure from here. Remember what I got before was nine from the armhole was nine. So here I placed it this way and so right side facing each other you flip over and top stitch okay so that is how i added the whole pocket you place right side facing the right side of the material you sew and then you flip it over and top stitch on the pocket so here i'm going to be shaping the side from the armhole you shape with the allowance you added i added two inches so one inch is for ease and one inch is for allowance okay so i'll be sewing here with one inch so the ease allowance i'm going to have is going to be like half inch now because i added i turned the lining with half an inch so this is how you are going to shape from the armhole you shape and enter the sleeve and shape the sleeve with half an inch and then you come out and continue with your one inch and after that you're going to fix your sleeve you're going to fix your sleeve i've shaped the sleeve with one inch okay you attach your sleeve and we are done so here is the final look i'm going to iron this properly and for the hem i'll be folding the hem using um hemming gum but if you don't like you can um, stitch on it so I'll be having my buttons here, okay? I'll be adding three or four buttons here. So you just use the material and go make your button. I don't know how to do that. So here I'm going to use hemming gum to um, fold the down part. So if you want, you can stitch on it. So this remaining part that the lining did not get, you can go and weave it. You search this part that the lining did not get. And then what you would do is to fold your one inch and another one inch again. 
and another one inch like this and then you put your hemming gum inside and iron out if you want you sew on it but i don't want to see any stitch on the dress so i just use my hemming gum in between okay i use my hemming gum to hold it, hold it together and if you want you can double it so i doubled my so that it would be stronger so that is all for this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe and also comment and i'll be seeing you in my next tutorial bye